been two weeks since the last video. A lot's happened since then. I'm just getting over the Rona at the moment, so I'm a little bit breathless still. We're in lockdown again, but at least this time during lockdown, there's a few more things we can get out and do. One of those is fishing. So today we're gonna to be looking at a travel fishing rod by Rigdon Ready. So let's head along the river and see whether we can catch anything. very muddy underfoot we've had a lot of water since before Christmas this whole area flooded all the fields are flooded over there um, and it's very claggy Whee, along the river here but uh, hopefully that should sort itself out when we get a bit further up there's a lot of water in the river we had our probable uh, only dousing of snow yesterday which uh, lasted about six hours and then uh, it's all gone but uh, it's put a lot of water back into the river and the, the, the river is really, really swollen at the moment. We had so much water and in fact we had so much floods over Christmas. There's a lot of houses and stuff being flooded further up the river there. So there's still a lot of water in the river and a lot of movement and a lot of colour. So I'm not sure whether we'll get anything but we'll head further along the river and we'll take a look at this uh, new little travel rod I got hold of by Rigdon Ready. Well, we ain't going to get a chance to fish in the usual spot because it is covered in silt and it is as muddy as muddy gets. So I think we'll have to head down the river a little bit further. So conditions along the river today don't look too favourable. There's a lot of silt, but we'll make do with what we've got. We're out here today to take a look at this travel fishing kit here by Rigdon Ready. Rigdon Ready are a UK company and what actually attracted me to buying this travel kit if, as opposed to other travel kits is the fact that you can spin fish, you can fly fish, you can pretty much do any type of fishing that you want out of this tiny little kit that you've got here. So let's just take a look at what we've got inside the bag. First thing to look at is the travel case itself. So the travel case itself is really 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 strong around the top and around the whole side so this is obviously the tube where the rod sections are kept inside and then inside the actual case here you've got a little black bag and inside the bag you've got your main reel you've got a spare spool for that reel as well and then you've got the fly reel as well now none of these reels come already prepared with line and stuff on which personally I think is better because you can put on whatever you want to uh, to stick on yourself there right and then let's take a look at the rod sections so all of the rod sections are in one bag here. So let's take a look at the different rod tips that we've got inside of here. So the first tip that comes out here is that's your for, for your spinning rod. So that's what we're going to be using today. We've got the, the quiver tip type one here as well. I guess this can be used as a light fly as well. You've got the fly tip. And then you've got another sort of medium weight sort of spinning tip as well so taking a look at the butt section of the rod here so this is set up with a fixed ball here for bait casting for for spin fishing for whatever now you want to convert this rod into a fly fishing rod this is how you do it you basically disconnect from this section here the butt comes out of here goes in that piece there and then the section goes in there and then swapping the reel over there we go set up for a fly fishing that I think is a really, really ingenious piece of uh, design work on there and I'm really looking forward to being able to use this rod for both fly fishing and uh, fixed ball fishing as well. Now someone like myself who's into pack rafting, kayak fishing, hiking and fishing, this whole kit is going to be absolutely brilliant because you haven't got to lug two rods around with you and it just packs up into a tiny, tiny sort of carry kit as well. Anyway, let's set this up with a fixed ball and stick a spinning tip on and see whether we can uh, do a bit of ned fishing and see whether we can catch some perch out the river behind us. And then we've got that little tiny spin tip. We're Ned Rig fishing today, so we're going to be using one of these uh, 
these weedless. I have no idea what these ones are called really. They look like a blooming alien, these things do. But uh, this is set up weedless because uh, there's going to be a lot of movement and a lot of weed in the, in the river here today. So that's the weedless rig that we're going to be using today. So you can see you've got the weight on the bottom there, and then you've got obviously the weight on the head of the lure there as well. And then obviously the, the prong of the prong of the hook is uh, is up like that. So let's give this a go. See what we get hold of. Casts really nicely. a little bit upriver so I'm just doing a couple of knocks one two three lift it up and then that sinks back down onto the bottom and then just a little movement on the reel a couple more there's a hell of a flow in the river today so I'm really looking forward to using this kit for some of my adventures in the summer once we get out of lockdown and I think the thing that really attracts me to the X5 adventure is the fact that I've got fly fishing and spinning in one kit you haven't got to take two sets of rods with you two reels so yeah really looking forward to using this in the summer I think what we might do is swap the lure over to a craws. I had some good luck on the craws fishing out of here before Christmas. So we'll use one of these craws. So what we're going to do, we're going to go in the base, just come out, push that over. There we go. Last cast and we'll move along the river a bit. Yeah, I think we definitely could have done with the other tip on, I think. This tip that we've got on here is uh, more suited for heavy lure fishing. And obviously with the Ned rigs, they're quite light. That's only a two, two, gram, uh, two gram head on here. So I think we could have done with a bit more whippier action in the tip for this one. But still a really really nice rod to use really looking forward to using this kit this summer well there doesn't seem to be much catching today I think we'll finish this one off and we'll head back to the van right that'll do for today I've just lost a lure on the mat that um, stops the erosion with the boats going past all the time oh, this Room with COVID, don't half a dock the wind out of your sails. But anyway, that's just a quick little look at the X5 Adventure fishing kit by Rigged and Ready. If you want some further information, then please uh, follow the link to Rigged and Ready in the description below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button just below. And as always, there's a couple of videos for you to take a look at. And we'll see you next week on the next one.